Hello devs! In this video, we're going to find out what MetaMask snaps are. My name is Ziad, and I'm the developer advocate for snaps. Let's dive deeper and find out what you can do with snaps. One major API available to snaps developers enables the derivation of private keys using BIP32 or BIP44. This gives you the ability to implement non-EVM protocols in MetaMask. Many protocol snaps are already live in our directory, like Bitcoin, Starknet, Solana, and more. And yours could easily be next. To use this feature, you have to request permission for each derivation path you want to use. When installing your snap, the user will see a list of all the protocols you need to derive keys for. Then, in your SNAP's JavaScript code, you simply call the corresponding API whenever you need to derive a private key. We'll find out more about this feature in further videos. Another huge API available to you as a developer is the Transaction Insights API. This API allows your SNAP to see transactions before a user confirms them. You can then use any proprietary algorithms or information to analyze the transaction and inform the user of potential security issues before the transaction is made. Getting access to this API is as simple as exporting an onTransaction function from your SNAP, which will be called every time the user is about to make a transaction. You also have to request permission to display transaction insights in your SNAPS manifest. We have a whole video dedicated to this feature. To help you build your SNAPS, the API exposes a set of supporting features. The first one is dialogues. Those allow you to get user input or simply confirmation for potentially sensitive actions. For example, you can use a confirmation dialog before broadcasting a transaction on behalf of the user. Encrypted storage lets you store permanent data in an encrypted way. For example, you can use this to remember a user's transactions, HD wallet data, or any API keys that you need to store for your SNAP to work. Cron jobs allow you to schedule periodic actions for your users. You can use this to monitor various conditions, to monitor the status of transactions, and you can pair this with other APIs like dialogues or notifications to improve your user's experience by showing them a pop-up whenever a certain event has happened. And finally, Custom UI gives you access to a set of components that allow you to build dialogues and show transaction insights to your users. We're constantly working to improve this API by adding new components to it. By now, you should have a better understanding of what snaps are and what they allow you to do as a developer. In this video, you learned about the various MetaMask snaps APIs and what they let you do the Key Derivation API that allows you to implement non-EVM protocols in MetaMask, the Transaction Insights API that allows you to show any information you want to your users about a transaction before they confirm it, and the various supporting APIs like Dialogues, Encrypted Storage, Cron Jobs, Custom UI, and so on. We have many more APIs coming, as well as improvements to existing APIs. Stay tuned to our Discord or our GitHub discussions and feel free to give us your input about what you need and what's not working for you. That's it for now. See you in the next video.